morning you guys it is Saturday morning it is beautiful Saturday it's a little cooler today but I decided to get up today and I'm gonna get out and get a little bit of sunshine and exercise guys I have not driven my car let's see I think in about two weeks so on advice from my mechanic he told me I need to get out and drive it around a little bit and just make sure that the oils and everything flows through the engine and you know move it about the parts and stuff you don't want your car to you know get to the point where it start having problems because it's just sitting for weeks on end because I think we've been going at this what a month now and um, yeah so I decided that I'm gonna get out today I'm gonna drive around and I may park somewhere and walk and I decided to take you guys with me so Stay tuned. I'm about to leave now. Just got dressed. Got my little protective scarf on that I'm going to wear. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. My car is filthy, guys. It really needs a bath. <laughs> Turn this radio off before I get a copyright, guys. <laughs> Y'all know YouTube come out of the small YouTubers. They don't mess with those large YouTubers because that's their money. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I thought I'd get out today and um, get a little bit of this sunshine. I almost tore up my camera because I, my, I hadn't been in my car. My mount had gotten loose. And guys, it fell off the window. And I was like, oh, my God. I can't afford to buy another camera right now. But I hope you guys' day has started out okay and that you're blessed and up this beautiful day. If it's beautiful, you know, sunny like it is here in Memphis. Mild weather, I think it's going to be about 65 to 70 today. So that's pretty good for this time of the year. So, yeah. But I thought I'd get on today and I wanted to share with you guys um, this. You saw the title. And I want to talk about... Uh, I'm going to leave talking about the state of the world right now and just talk about some other things. And I kind of want to talk about where I am in my life right now. And I've been hinting at it on my channel a little bit. And it was in regards to relationships. And I want to talk about getting back out there in the, in the dating world after you've been on a hiatus for a number of years. And the guys I've been, y'all know I've been single for uh probably about eight years now that's a little bit better closer yeah i've been single for about eight years now guys and so it's been a long time and within those eight years guys you do get to the point where you're very um you know i ain't gonna say selfish but you get accustomed to um the things that you like and doing things your way not having to, you know, consider other people's feelings. You know, you get up when you want to, you cook when you want to, you know, you do what you want to do. No, you're not asking for nobody. You're not compromising with anybody because you've been accustomed to just living your life on your own terms and how you want to do it. And now you got to go back to compromising when you dis disagree on things or you don't see eye to eye on something. And, you know, it can be challenging. But I want to encourage those ladies out there that are single like me. And I'm over 50, guys, and y'all know that. And not just a couple years over 50. So, you know, that has a lot to do with it as well. You know, just, and why did I go this way? It has a lot to do with it also because, maybe I can go back. Let's see. You know, when you get older, your tolerance for things are not the same. You know, when you're younger, I think you tend to be a little bit more forgiving and accepting of things. But when you have grown to have certain things comfortable in your life, uh, a certain way, minimal drama, you know, or issues, 
you don't entertain having that in your life <laughs> so yeah it can be an adjustment but one of the things I want to to say about getting back at this point of life where you feel that you're ready to enter the dating realm and get back out there that you have to step out on faith you can't allow fear to hold you hostage and, and prisoner everything that you do in life it, you're taking a chance you know you're taking a chance on um goodness all these rows of clothes good gracious on um on starting something new whether it's in a career field y'all knows my train of thought is kind of messed up on these roads yeah whether it's a career field or you know moving to another city um having children and relationships everything that you step out on you're taking a chance it's not a guarantee that it's going to turn out the way you want but you have to make a decision as to whether or not you feel that this is something that you're ready for and you have to get out there you got to get out there wholeheartedly you can't step out there halfway so I was glad to take the eight-year hiatus um, because I learned a lot about myself in that break and I learned well, what my strengths were and my weaknesses and I also was able to see why I feel that I was in a lot of sense uh, choosing the wrong relationships to enter based on my past and things that I had experienced and I'm a, a I'm a giver that's who I am in a relationship and I often tend to want to save people and I notice that it, even in my platonic friendships with girlfriends or just anybody in my life I tend to want to help people that's what I do because that's my passion and it and I and I that enters in part of my relationships my intimate relationships as well so if I meet somebody that has problems I want to stick it out with them I want to help them I want to try to resolve it for them I want to spare them pain so that's who I've been pretty much all my life and sometimes problems are not yours sometimes people need to work on themselves and fix themselves before they step out there as well and I had to learn that you know that just because I step into a, a relationship with someone and they're just toe up from the flow up doesn't mean that it's my responsibility to stay there and try to fix them and hopefully once they're fixed then they're ready for me sometimes you have to make a decision that this isn't the right time or situation for you so with that being said I have often chosen those relationships because I want to help people so having to learn how to you know tell myself and speak to myself that it's okay to have somebody hold <laughs> when you enter into a relationship I made that decision to step away from dating on a serious level until I was okay with knowing that I don't have to fix people and I am so thankful that I did that because in that process I had to face fears of being alone fears of growing old and not being um, attractive to men you know because I felt like you know if I wasn't with them at a young age when I got to a certain age in my life I probably wouldn't be able to get a guy again because who wants an older woman you know that's what that was my thinking but I had to realize that you know there's somebody for everybody out there people appreciate you for different things and you can't shrink yourself down and, and feel that that your life is over because you have reached a certain area of life middle age older senior whatever I've seen people find love you know in their late 60s 70s you know and I had a guy I did an April Fool's Day joke on on Facebook and I talked about uh, I, I hinted at being engaged <laughs> And this guy came on my page and said it was too late for that. And I'm thinking, wow, really? You know, you, you really would say it's too late for that based on the fact that you know how old I am. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. I know people who have been married 20, 30, 40 years. And those 20, 30, 40 years have been nothing but hell. And I said to myself, at the age that I am, if I get me 10 good years 
of happiness with someone, it would be worth it rather than being married to somebody for 30 years of pure hell. That is not winning to me. To say that I'm sticking it out with someone who constantly brings me heartache every single day of my life, or I'm miserable, or I'm depressed, you know, broken every day of my life. So if I can get me 10 good years or one good year with someone that truly honors me as a beautiful black queen, I am I'm blessed beyond measures. So I'm not going to look at the, the time that I have left. I'm going to put the quality into the time that I have. And that's truly what we should be looking at. So I wanted to get on here today and share that with you guys because I'm not going to have my a relationship probably in a lot of my vlogs on my channel. I don't, you know, I know a lot of people do couples channel and things like that. And that's great. I think it's good for the young people. But as a mature woman, I probably won't be vlogging my relationship. But probably what I will do from time to time is talk about certain topics. And I actually had this conversation and he's willing to do a QA and a and things like that. So we could get like the perspective of a male on certain topics. So, you know, I'm, I probably do um, uh, on my community page, ask you guys to drop some questions that you guys would want to ask a man of a particular age. You know, he's in his 50s as well. So I probably will um, put that on my community page. You guys can list questions that you may want to ask a man who's not willing to answer questions in regards to dating after 50 or dating a middle-aged man, over 50, uh, just a question about a man or why men are certain, you know, do certain things, whatever, <laughs> whatever questions. I think I'm going to do that. So that'll be something in the future that I will have on my channel, but just us walking around vlogging and things like that. I probably won't do so stay tuned for that I think that'll be a, a nice addition to the vlogs uh, to just get some grown people perspectives on relationships and questions that we may have that we're we want answers to as women guys I'm at the park I was trying to drive over to a different park but I forgot that the parks are not allowing cars <laughs> you have to walk into them maybe because I live a little ways from that one I decided not to take you guys there so this is one that I've been to before that you guys seen but I wanted to come back and um, just kind of close up the vlog today and just say that Relationships can be tough, but if, if you're both committed to really trying, putting in the work, being committed, honoring one another, and it's important that you don't compromise your integrity or your morals or values. People, when you go into that, people understand what they are and one of the things I like about getting older and dating is that it's no rush. <laughs> and uh, people often rush to intimacy too quickly, in my opinion. 
and um, and they don't know each other. I think it's important that you get to know who you're with. Know everything as much as you can. Talk. That's what the whole courting process is for: is getting to know one another, learning um, your likes and dislikes, and your ex expectations in a relationship. And oftentimes, people get in relationships and they don't know any of those things, and they find themselves so caught up in the attraction of the relationship that they fail to find these things out and they don't know the person. They look up one day and you really don't know the person. You don't know how to communicate because that's ultimately the most important thing going on in order for it to be lasting is to make sure that you can communicate. And uh, yeah, so finding that, that piece of my life now, I feel that I'm ready and uh, I'm ready to, to live and enjoy whatever time I got left. One of the things, this whole situation, and I guess I'm gonna interject it a little bit, that I've, I've come to realize since we have, um, we're going through this, this time in our lives, is that it's important to value life and appreciate what you have and the time that you have. And um, don't take anything for granted. And it's the simple things of life that matters. The quality of life, not so much things. I think if we have learned anything throughout this whole ordeal is that stop placing value on things and appreciate people and the love that you have in your life, your health. And uh, those are very, very important. So I hope that this has got you to thinking for my ladies out there who is at that point of stage of life where they might be thinking about entering back out into this world of dating or courting or whatever you want to call it at this stage of life <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna enjoy this a little while I had my scarf up but I came to this park and there's nobody here usually when I'm not around a lot of people I feel pretty comfortable taking it down but yeah, I'm here, I'm protecting myself, got hand sanitizers in my purse, I actually have gloves in my purse, so I have all the precautionary measures with me, but I have to get out and just be able to get a little sunshine, you know, we're in all day, we're working, and um, yeah, so thank you again, once again for tuning in, I hope that this uh, is helpful, you got any questions, feel free to drop them below, I don't mind answering questions, I know a lot of people are like, what? you know inquisitive about where I'm at right now I'm very excited I'm happy I have finally got to a point in my life where I feel that I am truly ready and I can smile you know I'm very not that I never smile I smile all the time anyway but I feel very happy about where I'm going right now I feel a little confident and uh, ready to explore yeah I can say that truly so Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful day. If it's beautiful where you are. If it's not, you still enjoy it as well. Be thankful for the small things that we have. I, I am so thankful. And if I ever did not appreciate those simple things, I am now. And I know that time is valuable. And we don't have any of it to waste. So you guys, uh, thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, peace and love. And I'll see you real soon, okay? Bye.